direct proportion and inverse proportion worked exam questions. We're going to start with direct proportion and work our way up to inverse. Now when reading a question, you see the word proportion, you need to check whether it's directly proportional or inversely proportional. This is directly proportional and that means that something is proportional to something else. Now in this question, it's the the area is proportional to the square of the width. And we're told if the area is 12, the width is 4. We've got to find a connection between the two equations. So the area A is proportional to the square of the width or the width squared. And most of the problems with these sort of straightforward type of proportional questions are people forgetting to put the power on the on the second variable. That is the same as a is equal to k times w squared, k being a constant proportionality. This k can be, it doesn't have to be a letter k, but that's the letter I use for these, and most people do. Now, we substitute the two values we have. We've got the width is 4 when the area is 12. So the area is 12. k is what we're trying to find. And the width is 4. So 12 is equal to k times 16. So to find k, we need to divide by the 16. So k is equal to 12 divided by 16. And that is equal to, uh, dividing by 4, we get 3 over 4, or 3 quarters. So the final equation, we place the k with the value 3 quarters. Um, you could write it in, a, in a terms of a decimal, so 0.75 w squared at 3 quarters is in my opinion neater. Next question. Okay, directly proportional to the cube of its height. So B is directly proportional to the cube of the height or the height cubed. And we're told the two values, we're always given two values so that we can work out the constant. Find the equation. So B is e equal to K times H cubed. And we are told that the block of weight 54, that's the block weight B, has a height of uh, 3 meters, so 3 cubed. So 54 equals K times 3 cubed, 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27, and 27, 54 is double 27, so K equals 2. So we've got the equation B equals K is 2, so 2 H cubed. And then we're asked to find um, one value given the other. So we're given the block weight 128. So we're told the block is 128, and that equals 2 times the height cubed. We need to find the height. So we need to divide by 2 to find out what the height cubed is. So dividing by 2, we get 64 equals h cubed. And we have to figure out what number cubed is 64. We're not allowed to use a calculator, so possibly you should know that it's 4 but if you didn't you could try a few values 1 cubed is 1, 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed is 64 so h equals 4 for 3 marks. m is directly proportional to r cubed this time it actually writes r cubed which, is, which makes things a little bit easier work out the value of m when r is 8 now this is 4 marks so we have it's not actually telling us to work out the equation, but we have to to be able to find out what m is when r is 8. So m is proportional to r cubed. Uh, so m equals kr cubed. Now in all these proportionality questions, if you write either of these two things, you would get one mark for one of, one of those. The two values we're given, r is 5, m is 200, so 200 equals k times um, 5 cubed. So 200 equals k times 125. So k equals 200 divided by 125. Um, you're allowed to use a calculator on this one. So it becomes. So 200 divided by 125. 8 fifths, which is 1.6. So we can have 1.6, or we could have 8 over 5. Either, either is fine. So that's our equation m equals 1.6 r cubed. Now we want to find out the value of m when r is 8, so m equals 
1.6 times 8 cubed again using the calculator 1.6 times 8 cubed and we get 819.2 for 4 marks work out the value of R when M is 3125 3, so working backwards we're given that and we know that's our formula so we need to divide 3125 by 1.6 and that gives r cubed and then we need to do the cube root to find r we need to do the cube root of all that 3125 over 1.6 so again calculator um, so the cube root is just there, so a shift, cube root. I'm going to use a fraction for this, 3125 over 1.6, and the answer is 12.5. Don't forget to check these sort of things when you're doing it in an exam. So put the 12.5 back in cube, it times by 1.6, and hopefully you'll get that value there. OK, A is directly proportional to the square of R, so A equals uh, A is proportional to R squared, so A equals K R squared. Form the equation, so A equals K, in fact, let's rewrite that, that's wrong. A is 2826 equals K times 30 squared is 900 so k is going to be equal to 2826 divided by 900 again this is a calculator based question which is 3.14 not surprising that gives us the uh, um, formula for a circle so a area of a circle equals 3.14 r squared. Work out a value of a when r is 15. a equals 3.14 times 15 squared. Again, calculator out. Okay, next one. Okay, now we're moving on to the inverse proportional questions. Now these are virtually the same as proportional questions apart from the fact that we need to deal with this word inversely proportional. And this one's to the square root of m. So if L was directly proportional to the square root of m, it would look like that. But because it's inverse, that means inverse means 1 over whatever the direct proportion would be. So 1 over the square root of m in this question. And then we carry on like we normally do, so we put the k in. Now the k can either go in front of the square root of 1 over m, or you can write it as k over root m. This is obviously much neater. Obtain the equations, so put the values in as we did before. 35 equals uh, k over the square root of 100, and that's equal to k over 10, so don't really need to calculate for this, but you could use one. Just times the by the 10 to get 350. 350 divided by 10 is 35. So L equals, you could put 350 on the outside, but I'm going to put it above the square root of M. Work out the value of M when L is 700. So 700 equals 350 over the square root of M. Okay, now. This is quite a tricky equation to solve if you've not got a few basic skills. One basic skill is knowing that you can just swap these two values over. And that makes life a lot easier. So the square root of m equals 350 over 700. Now you could um, times by the square root of m, so we could go this way. So we've got 700 times by the square root of m equals 350. And then divide by the 700, the square root of m equals 350 divided by 700, which gives you the same effect. Um, but what you mustn't do is write the square root of m 
equals 700 times 350. That's not correct. Don't do that. So 350 divided by 700, well that's a half. So the square root of m equals a half. So m equals a half squared, which is a quarter. Now this could all be done on the calculator. 0 0.25 obviously is the same. Another inverse proportional question. G is proportional to inverse proportional to h, so it's it's proportional to one over h. G equals eight when h. Oh, let's just rewrite that. G equals k over h. So eight equals k over seven, which implies that k equals fifty six, because fifty six divided by seven is eight. So obtain the equation g equals 56 over h. Resistance ohm uh, r ohms is proportional or inversely proportional to the current i. So it's proportional to 1 over i. Inverse meaning 1 over. Um, when the resistance is 12 so that tells us that R equals K over I. Resistance is 12. The current is 8, so K over 8. It tells us that K equals 12 times 8, which is 96. So the equation is R equals K, which is 96, all over I. Find the current resistance is 6.4, so 6.4 equals 96 over I. And again, we can swap these two over to get i equals 96 divided by 6.4. This is a calculated question, so 96 divided by 6.4 is just 15. Okay, next one. W is inverse proportional to x, so W is proportional to 1 over x. So W equals k over x. So W equals, oops, W is 6 when X is 20, so that implies that K equals 6 times 20, which is 120. So W is equal to 120 over X. So W equals 120 over 24. And Again, calculate is allowed. So that equals 5. Should have known that really. Okay. Number of days D to the inverse portion of the number of the people P who work on the project. So days is directly proportional. This one's inverse proportional to P, so that's 1 over P. So D equals K over P. We're told that 18 days is K divided by 150. So that implies that K equals 18 times 150. OK, so there's no calculator needed here. So try to work this out. 18 times 150 is 9 times 300. 9 threes are 27, two zeros. So D is, is 2,700 over, over P. How many people need to complete a job project in 10 days? So we've got 10 equals 2,700 over P. So that, remember we can switch these two values. P equals 2,700 over 10, which is 270. This question graph which shows D is inverse proportional to P, or inverse proportional with no square or anything, that's just a reciprocal graph which looks like this. So as P gets bigger, D gets smaller, as D gets bigger, P gets smaller. 